And so now it's time for the official welcome tonight. Hi, my name is Patty Frazier, currently serving as the New York State PTA Treasurer. And then as part of my role there, I'm also the designated officer for membership. So I'm excited to be a part of the membership team and to introduce our membership team to you tonight, um, who will be leading the presentation, um, starting um, with our fearless team leader, um, our membership coordinator, Mary Sotomayor. Mary's waving. Um, and in Hi, our everybody. Very in our new, in a new role, um, but not a new face to membership because she's a very passionate about membership. Our membership engagement specialist, Renee Daniels. Hi. Also supporting the membership team is our other Suffolk representative, Jennifer Tulo, our marketing specialist. Hello. Um, and we continue our efforts on the male engagement front. Um, we feel that they're, they're an important part of PTA and we're always trying to find creative ways to reach out to them. So we have put Mike Keene in charge of that. Mike's not joining us tonight, but he is available anytime to answer any questions you might have or ask for ideas from him about male engagement because he's full of them. And then finally, um, Again, myself as designated officer. And then we are very lucky as a team to have the full support of the um, membership and insurance manager from the state office, Dana Welch. Hi, everybody. Dana's available all the time at the office via email or phone. Um, always, again, for your support. Okay. I'm going to pass it over to Mary now as we start um, moving forward with this presentation. Thank you so much, Patty, for introducing all of us. Um, you know, Patty is our awesome, awesome DO, and we're so happy to have her as well. Um, we put together this membership playbook because um, I'm sure all of you guys are planning your units um, stuff this year, especially your membership strategies. And we wanted to put together something that could help you along the way. And we also wanted to give you guys an opportunity to be able to talk with us on state so we can share with you um, some of the tips and tricks we have our Facebook groups that would be able to help you, membership bundles, um, our take on community and business membership, ideas to grow your membership, website resources, all the awards we have this year, our success stories, and finally a little message from your region. So sit back, we're gonna be chatting a little bit. Please feel free to use the chat box to leave any messages. We will be addressing any, any comments or um, questions that you have. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing we wanted to talk about were some membership tips and tricks. We are stating that it might be helpful that instead of saying, come to your PTA meeting, uh, try calling it, bring a friend night. That way you can bring a new person to your PTA meetings that might not have gone to your PTA meetings before. Um, create a unit Facebook page if you don't already have one. Some of the PTAs that we've been talking to um, and units do not have Facebook pages. So you might want to create uh, one that can start to promote and highlight the things that your unit is doing. Um, you're going to want to start to reach out to your former members. Um, anyone that was a member before, they might have graduated out of your school or they might be a community member. They supported your unit before. They will most likely support your unit again. You should start reaching out to them to ask them to become a part of your unit's membership. Um, do you have a newsletter? You're going to want to make sure to share that and encourage your members to share that newsletter with your region or your regions or your state's newsletter. We have a newsletter and so does the region. And we're gonna be getting to that a little later tonight. Um, also, you're gonna to wanna to try and create some online partnerships with related organizations. So that could be, um, you know, any of the political affiliations that your unit might have, or some of the organizations that you have in your town, uh, develop um, a relationship with them. And we're gonna show you tonight how to do that in some fun, easy ways. Um, 
you're also going to want to try and optimize your email campaign. Have you ever received an email that had all these shortened words and you had no idea what they meant? This is what we're talking about. When you're sending out an email, especially with regards to membership, make sure it's something that the minute someone looks at it, they can completely understand, dive right in and not wonder who is this email meant for? Is it for me or for someone that's already part of this organization? So tonight we're going to be doing a deep dive into prioritizing our social media engagement and how to do that, offering membership bundles, and giving your members the gift of a PTA discount card while growing your business membership. So first up is going to be our social media platforms. Renee. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Renee Daniels. I'm the membership engagement specialist with New York State PTA. Um, a little bit on social media platforms, um, where to go. You can find New York State PTA on Facebook and Instagram. Um, Facebook is um, backslash NYS PTA and Instagram um, is right there. We're New York State PTA with the underscores in between each. We also have a very brand new group, New York State PTA Leaders Group, um, that's taken right off and there's a lot of um, interaction there on that group. So um, in your free time tonight, if um, you can make sure that you're just following and liking uh, our Facebook page and make sure you join that leaders group. Um, it's New York State PTA Leaders across the entire state. A lot of great conversations are going on right there um, about membership, member hub, um, back to school events, a whole slew of topics. Um, so make sure you definitely check that out tonight. Um, what you can expect to see from us on Facebook, uh, New York State PTA shares a lot of articles on parenting tips, uh, child health tips, um, our state awards, scholarships, um, event announcements like um, we have a convention that we're starting to plan for November. That'll be um, up on our Facebook page. We also have every other Tuesday, we have Talk to Us Tuesday, where we pose a um, question to um, our page followers. Um, there's um, yesterday's question was post. Um, feel free to um, you know interact and, and give your uh, best advice on that post from yesterday. Uh, we also have um, success stories on every other Saturday about um, you know units who this past year, um, and I think Mary's gonna talk a little bit more about this or Dana, um, the successful stories that they've had with their membership campaigns, um, not only to, to help get you thinking outside the box, but also if you're struggling in the area of membership, um, it might help give you a boost on some ideas on how to grow your membership this year. Um, a couple of um, pieces of advice I can give to you, as Mary said, to make sure that you have a social media Facebook account for your own PTA. Um, you want to make sure that um, you get familiar with what Facebook algorithms are and um, like instead of liking posts make sure that you do um thumbs up or hearts um comments are really helpful um when you want to bring your your facebook into other people's new news feeds um make sure they're more than five words long make sure that you comment on other people's comments um and one thing that i can come to mind um is you know, if you want to grow your page, you know, you might see other area businesses doing something like, you know, hey, like and share our page and you're entered into um, a drawing to win, I don't know, coffee table or whatever. Um, you can do the same thing for your Facebook page and share, have a, a contest for your members. If you're a member and you like and share this page, you're entered into a giveaway for Barnes and Noble gift card or, you know, something along those lines. Um, but yeah, so make sure you research those algorithms to see how that they can best help you and your unit so that you can understand what, what they mean for you. Thanks, Renee. You know I love that word algorithm. 
<laughs> I will tell you guys, as I, I always say, uh, Facebook is a living, breathing thing. It totally understands who you are as a person. It probably knows you better than you know yourself. So when you're doing anything on Facebook, even if you're creating a page and you happen to be one of the moderators, your actions on that page affect 10 other people. So when you like something, Facebook decides, hmm, that must be something that her friends might like too, or his friends might like too. So in addition to making sure that you're liking things, interacting and posting, if you're dealing with any um, community members or businesses, you wanna make sure to ask them to link your page within their Facebook page if they have it, because this will just give you more places to be seen and uh, more interactions to be had. So next up, we're gonna be talking about membership bundles. Dana, it's our favorite thing. <laughs> it is, membership bundles. And I know probably most of you on this call are probably more of an expert at this than I am. I'm just seeing all the great things that you guys are doing in Member Hub with bundling your membership. But just for those that maybe haven't uh, gone down that route yet, we do want to talk about it because I think it's important. It has increased membership for those units that have tried it. And uh, I want to you know, make sure that you can experience that as well. So what we're talking about is actually taking your four membership types that New York State has, which are the standard additional family member, student, and teacher staff. And each of those um, types has a fee associated with it in your bylaws. So as long as you stay true to what is in your bylaws, you can bundle those membership types together and you can create different family memberships and you can call it anything you want. You can get really creative, uh, use your team mascot, your school mascot, your school colors, um, however you want to package this together to encourage more than just one parent or one grown up to join the PTA. So um, I know a lot of uh, uh, units probably think, well, I never thought about students being members. Well, students can absolutely be members and they can be members of any PTA. So absolutely, you know, bring the whole family into this, get their support, um, all of the, uh, you can even have, you know, uh, community members with, you know, the larger extended family or businesses. So. With membership bundles, you can do it with just two membership, um, two or more members and have a family bundle. You could do a three member family, a four member family, however you wanna set that up. You can design those parameters and you can ask, uh, you can add additional fields, you can add a logo, however you wanna jazz it up. But you can also bundle things like a donation. Maybe you want to have a platinum level membership, which means they buy the membership, for uh, one or two members, and they're donating a certain amount of money towards the PTA. And I, I like to think of this how I would have loved to have this option when my kids were little, because I never really wanted wrapping paper or candles. I didn't really want to participate in the fundraisers, but I wanted to give to my PTA. So how great would it be, it be to have this no fuss, you know, join the fund, forget the fundraisers, and be able to just uh, donate a certain amount and be a platinum level member. I mean, how, you know, maybe a distinction somewhere your name is fe featured on Facebook or something. I mean, how great is that? So you can come up with something like that and give a donation amount. You can also bundle things like maybe a free gift with purchase. Uh, maybe you've got some window clings or magnets with your school, you know, mascot on them. How great would that be to have those in the back of the car? Um, you could do a discounted item as part of your membership, maybe something in your spirit wear line, something that you're selling full price. But if you bundle it with a membership, maybe it's, you know, half price or 10% off or something like that. So you can take products, bundle them with membership, and you can take membership types and bundle those together. So I would love to see in the chat, if you bundle something, please enter it so we can see what you're doing and that others can share and you know be able to learn from you. But um, I'd love to see some other great ideas and you know we can all learn together. So that's my spiel on bundles. I love this bundles option. I just realized that a group of eagles would be an airy. 
So we're airy platinum if it's a bundle. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> I we love can it. Name it anything we'd like, right? It could be yes. your color. It could be anything. You can be as creative as you want, as long as you stick to your bylaws and uh, charge the fees appropriate with that. And I forgot to mention, you should always have the option for someone to purchase just the standard membership because that, you know, in case they just want to buy, you know, one membership, they should always have that option. So Dana, we have a question. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Mary, you do the question. Okay, I got it. I'm on mute. <laughs> uh, we have a question here for you. It okay. says, does anyone have any tips for bundling the membership in Member Hub? I have three and four family member families uh, set up, but Member Hub has required fields for phone and email listed for the student members, even though Member Hub support says the student info is not actually required. It's deterred, it, it's deterred several people from signing up for the elementary level up kids, leveled kids, excuse me. Yeah, and I, I haven't looked at the actual checkout form to see, there used to be a message that was in there that said, if it's a student membership, that it wasn't required. So if that's not still part of the cart, um, we can always get that added back in. It might have been something that was dropped when we went to the new uh, Member Hub 21 new dashboard, but um, it isn't required for a student membership. So if they select student as the student type, they can leave the email and the phone number blank. But if for some reason it's asking them for something, they can always put 10 digits, any 10 digits, one, 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 dash, one, 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 dash, one, 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 as the phone number. And that works too. So uh, we need to just, I guess, communicate that to our, um, you know, potential members. Okay. So the response is, it says it, but they're starred required. So it's a little confusing. Yeah, yeah, it definitely would be confusing. Maybe some information in um, your communication out to when you're giving this link for people to join, I would point that out to them. And if you're definitely, if you're promoting those types of bundles, uh, pointed out in advance uh, to kind of save people from being deterred from joining. Um, I don't know if there's any way for us because the other types do have those fields as required. I don't know if there's any way for us to fix that, but I can certainly check into that with uh, Member Hub. Thank you, Dana. We have no. one more question. Sure. Uh, can you bundle with a local business and say buy this membership bundle and get a coupon for a local business? Yeah, why not? <laughs> You know, it's something that you would be providing, um, you know, to them after the fact when their membership goes into your system. So absolutely, uh, however you want to, you know, whatever you want to put in there, really, it's, it's up for grabs. Nancy, we're totally in sync. Our next slide happens to be about um, our business membership, and it's going to be brought to you by Jennifer Tulo. Um, hi everyone, I'm Jennifer and I'm actually also the PTA president for Huntington uh, STEM School. Uh, so this to me is also very helpful. Um, so I believe, and Mary correct me if I'm wrong, that this the slide here shows a coupon booklet that actually the Suffolk region is using. Yes, um, the RMC for the regional membership chair for Suffolk um, put together a couple of these when she was a SEPTA president. And uh, this is a key card. This is a business card and she's on some other things as well. Okay. So yeah, so what I think uh, getting your local community involved is a great idea um, because um, it helps, I think, grow a sense of community with your school and within the town you live in. So um, I can give you a good example is that in my unit this year, we decided not to use Scholastic for a book fair. We went to our local, we have a mom and pop a bookstore and asked them if they would um, help run our book fair. So, um, we partnered with them and it was great because people felt good about shopping local. And um, we also, they made money and we made money as well. So um, it, it's a good opportunity because you could also ask them to become members if you do something like that and have their staff become members. Um, or if there's 
uh, I did a contest in the school and I went into a local bakery and asked them if they would donate back um, the prizes for the kids that uh, it was a stop motion video contest. And they were more than happy to do it because one of their children went to one of the elementary schools. So I think a good place to start with your board is to uh, maybe talk about the businesses that you might want to approach. And then um, also when you have meetings, put it out there to families and ask them if, they're, if they might, might own some businesses in, their, in the town, or maybe they have aunts or uncles or cousins that run businesses and will be interested in uh, becoming members of your PTA. Uh, I also think that it's a good idea to talk to your sister units in your school. So for me, um, in, there are two intermediate schools. Uh, one's a STEM school and one's they, they categorize as a liberal arts. And maybe you can collaborate with each other and say, you know, let's approach these businesses together and get memberships for our schools. So because I think what happens sometimes is when you go to businesses, they're like, oh, I already donated to this school or that school. So maybe if you work together, you can uh, be more successful with getting businesses to become members. Um, other ideas, uh, you could offer a certificate so they can hang it in their, in their storefront that they're members, which would, um, I think, help. You could explain that, you know, more people like to shop uh, at stores where, you know, they've, they've donated to their community. Um, you can also post on your Facebook page and saying these businesses have become members of our PTA. Uh, we would appreciate your thanking them, stopping in and, you know, purchasing from them. Um, you can go to your local library and ask them if they can hang a flyer or a stand for you to, um, to become members. Uh, uh, you could go to your local grocery store, ask them to add flyers to their bags, because a lot of times uh, we have local grocery stores that just sell fruits and vegetables or something like that. Um, and also, I, I think it's important too to think of the timing when you do all this, because I know certain times of year, a lot of schools have the same events. And so it can be a little tough to say, oh, hi, here I am, but I've already donated. So um, you might get, might be a little harder. Um, and let me see what else I have here. You could also go to your local leaders and ask them for support. You might have a, like a senator or a congressman in your area, we do have a local office, uh, ask them for your support. Um, and then um, as far as what's shown on the slide here, this is something you can go sell ads and gain membership that way. Um, you could uh, either give them to your membership or use it as an incentive to buy a membership. So I think there's a lot of creative ideas out there and I uh, definitely can get some more support from your community. Thank you so much, Jen. We really appreciate that. Um, we are lucky enough to have on tonight um, one of the experts in this, and she happens to be your RMC. Her name is Maria Sanders. Maria, did you want to say a quick hello? Hi, everybody. How are you? Um, I'm sorry, I, I signed in a little late tonight. Um, so the membership cards that we did were free with their membership. I think we gave out approximately 500 cards, which was fabulous from the perspective of selling it to the businesses. I think we had asked a hundred dollar donation for the ad. And we also asked them to put in some sort of promotion. So like the Philly pretzel factory, it was, you buy five and you get five pretzels free. So it, it's certainly an incentive. I know my family has gone to the pretzel factory a dozen times because we're getting 10 pretzels for $5 instead of five. Um, and, you know, if anybody who knows my family knows they love their pretzels. Um, it, and you can, you, you share it from a end of like, there are 500 local families that are going to see this card. They're going to get this card. They're going to be able to put it in their wallet, put it on their keychain, and they're going to come into your business. So it's a much more direct marketing for the businesses. And from a PTA and listen, you're paying, let's say your membership is $10.
So they can look at it as if they're spending $10 to get the card. Maybe it's somebody from the community that doesn't have any real ties to PTA or to the school. I, I actually, um, with our Boy Scouts, we sold the cards for $15 each. And I sold a couple dozen cards just by going into the local moms groups. Because again, if you use this card at the pretzel factory, three times you've made your money back. If you go buy pizza, if you go buy any one of the other things that are on there, you're actually now, now gaining money. So it's a way to support PTA and kind of a way to make things a little easier for you as you know, just a, a parent or a community member. Um, they went over very well and it was pretty easy. In our case, we actually had somebody who made the cards but when I did the math on it, I said, you know, if somebody has a little bit of time and a little bit of hustle, you can actually, you can bring in a nice chunk of money. We sold 32 ads. So that would bring in $3,200. Um, and it's much easier than our standard fundraisers because here's 32 local businesses. And I know it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. You can literally hit one or two shopping malls and that's it. Um, and if anybody has any questions, feel free to reach out. Maria, that was awesome. And that's only one of her ideas, guys. This is your RMC, your regional membership chair. So when you're getting stuck, you're not sure what to do next. This is one of your line of defenses that you can contact to get some awesome ideas. We really appreciate you sharing that with us, Maria. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. So we wanted to talk about some ways to grow your membership. We've already discussed some ideas on engaging um, our members, but we're going to give you a couple more ideas uh, to start with. So if you are virtually, if we're starting in a virtual environment, this year it seems like on Suffolk, we'll be able to go back to school um, based on uh, some correspondences we received today. We'll be able to go back to school full-time for most of us. Um, and we'll be able to be um, on the playgrounds at least, but we don't know yet if we're gonna be able to be in the schools. So we are going to approach this from two fronts, whether you're going to be doing mostly virtual or in-person events or a combination of both. So one of the things you wanna do to get new members and keep your current members engaged and retained for the following year is you wanna start chatting with them. Um, your unit can start asking questions like, ask me anything sessions. Maybe they have questions about what your PTA does, how to get involved, um, how to get their uh, subject out there. Of course, we want to moderate these chats, but um, this might give people an opportunity that wouldn't otherwise uh, chat with your unit or PTA to say something. Um, Tip Tuesdays. Uh, we on New York State PTA do this, and um, what's awesome is we can interact with, in your case, with your unit, where you can write a tip that's pertaining to your area and um, get people to talk to you online and you know understand that PTA is there for them and PTA is for them. Uh, member spotlight, uh, you wanna greet new members. Uh, if you're asking people to join your membership, you wanna acknowledge them. And Facebook, um, Instagram, all of these places are good places to acknowledge your new members. Um, you also wanna invite your friends to the page uh, just so they can see what it is that you're posting, all right? We're going to talk about our contest a little later, but you want to use the contest that we have on membership to promote um, your, uh, your PTA. Um, does everybody know what their membership goal is? As I continue, you can write that in the chat. That is a very important number. Um, a lot of people will uh, rally behind a number. If they know this is the goal for the school, they will try to make that number happen for you, especially the staff, your principals, the teachers. They want us to be a successful PTA. So let's tell them how to do that. Um, you want to include the PTA membership and program information regularly in your newsletter if you have one or any communications that you're having with your parents. You'll be surprised how often they say, I never saw it. No one gave it to me. I didn't even know membership was every year. 
you guys collect membership every year. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you're including it in everything that you're doing. Patty, is your hand up? Yeah. Go ahead, Patty. Yes, it is. I just wanted to jump in on membership goals. Um, they've been um, updated for the year. And I just wanted to mention that um, we already have some units that are doing some great work in Suffolk. Um, hopefully some of them are on, but um, I'm going to make sure I read this right. Burton Street Elementary School is 27% of their goal. Fifth Avenue Elementary School PTA, 26%. Um, I think they're on tonight with us. Conaquat Senior High School, PTSA, 21%, and Riverhead SEPTA at 20%. So even though it is just really at the start of many people's membership year, things are happening already. So um, we're thrilled that these things are happening. People are getting the word out in Suffolk. So everyone should, you know, join in with that fun and let's um, get our members started to be registered to reach those goals. That's some exciting news to share, Patty. I'm glad you interrupted me. <laughs> that is awesome. Like, I mean, really, we really just started. August is in the beginning stages. And if um, our membership is starting now, we can only imagine what it'll be in September. Um, when you're sending this information, does everybody know that um, if you needed it to be in a different language, PTA will translate it for you? I'm not sure if you, you're aware of that. I know we didn't know it in the beginning. Uh, we did word to Spanish and it did not work out that well for us. So if you're looking for this service, please let us know. Dana, I see your hand up. Yeah, I just wanted to mention before we get off of the subject of the goals, they have been updated on Member Hub and the way, the where you find them will be to log in, go to compliance, then unit data, scroll all the way down towards the bottom and you will see your membership goal. So if you get in there and your membership goal is not listed, you let us know because I am almost positive everything has been entered, but please let us know if, it, if it's not showing for you. That's it. That's all. Thanks, Dana. Can you share that in the chat as well, just so that they know the path? Yes. Did you see? I didn't. I put my thumb up. You probably couldn't see me. <laughs> Will do. Mary, it we're going like... to move, move on, but I think Mary's a little frozen. So I'm, I'm <laughs> I wonder why she was being Mary. so still. I know, I'm gonna jump in for Mary. So again, we were talking about, um, um, the virtual piece, whether you're going to be doing your PTA that way, but hopefully at some point we will be able to hold in-person events, even if they're not on the school grounds. Let's keep that in mind that PTA doesn't have to happen on the school grounds. We can be doing that in other locations. Again, I was just at a board meeting the other night and we had it out in the parking lot and we kind of did a tailgate and we had fun and we all sat around in a circle. And so um, let's, let's start looking for those ideas. Um, we mentioned earlier that there was a table, a membership table and, and Maria, Maria, you might know who this was. Um, the units that set up a membership table at some local event. Does that sound familiar to you? Uh, I know a lot of our units set up tables at like street fairs and at the library resource fair. Great. And for us, our library is fantastic because they support PTA and they want to help us in whatever way we, we need help. I put in the chat, uh, if anybody wants to do any sort of signage or banners or anything to thank businesses for helping, the library is, is your go-to. They're very cost-effective. For us, the Sachem Library is fantastic. They make huge banners and it costs only a couple dollars. So it definitely pays to, to give something. And it's also promoting your PTA when you walk into your local pizzeria and you see, you know, a gold sponsor for the Sachem PTA. It, it gives you another little motivator to spend your money there knowing that they support us. Great, thanks for that. And so, you know, one of the things we're talking about is getting people together as well. So uh, before, at the school drop-off, just past drop-off, if you have extra time, maybe that's a time that you can get a group together to do, you know, a quick meeting in the parking lot or a quick meeting at the local coffee shop um, or just prior to pick up. 
Um, we have a PTA up uh, where I live that has been posting on Facebook. We're meeting every Tuesday night. And in addition to meeting, we're walking. So we're, we're going to walk and talk. And so that we can like have double duty. So we're getting some exercise and we're taking care of PTA business at the same time. So we have to be PTA flexible again this year. So even though we, we know we can probably meet safely in person, um, the schools obviously are going to have some additional constraints just you know for the safety of the staff and the students that we might have to find other locations. But don't let that discourage you from trying um, different ways to get together. Um, and also for the opportunity to um, partner with different things. If sports are a go, um, think about having, you know, you're meeting at the halftime of the football game or on the field, you know, again, if it's uh, field hockey or soccer, whatever else is going on, maybe that's an opportunity for you to gather some parents that are also going to be attending these events as well. I just want to show you, um, since we were talking about goals, I'm going to do a quick screen it looks share. looks like Mary's back if you want to just make her co-host okay. again. She'll All right. Well, I'm going to do this quick screen share. Okay. No problem. And then I'm going to put Mary, I'll get you back, Mary. Okay. Because I'm terrible at screen share, but I'm going to try it. So I just want to show you um, this little poster that was made from one of our local units. So they wanted to win the early bird award. Um, and in order to do that, they needed to reach 40 members by September 30th, like the sign says. This was at their open house um, in the in middle of September. So they just put up this poster and put it right on their table. And you could do this anywhere. You can put this on your Facebook page. You can do it live at, you know, uh, again, on a banner in front of school, however you want to do it. So, um, but for this particular one, it was uh, six o'clock open house, all, you know, families and staff were there. The sign was up, we need uh, 40 members by September 30th. And, and so now I'm gonna stop the share of that. And I'm now going to try because I am the worst at screen sharing, but I'm really trying to get better. That's okay. You know what this is, Patty? This is a live example of yeah, so PTA, can... <laughs> PTA flexible. <laughs> oh, Mary, you're, yes, thank you for that. All right, I'm here. It's not sharing, but I do have another picture. Let me click on it. Okay, this is the big reveal. I'm coming back, ladies. You ready? Wait a minute. You're all ready, I'm not. This is what, what, this is what the sign looked like at the end of the night. Um, each, as people joined, the pink piece of paper was a little post-it note. We were very low key here and we just kept adding to it. And at the end of the night, we, uh, we had somebody who was thrilled to come up and be number 41. So the reason I point this out is because we have to make sure we let people know what our goal is and how we want to achieve it. And people want to feel like they're part of this team. They want to feel like they're part of, of something that's happening. And this is a concrete way of showing that. And with that being said, I'm going to stop the share. I'm going to put Mary back and in also, charge. And also, Patty, we have that fully customizable thermometer graphic that is available to everyone in our membership toolkit. So you can do your fancy thermometer and put your goal on there and show everybody your progress to goal. And it's fully customizable to have your uh, logo and your colors and whatever you want to say on there, um, you can do that too. So it's in PowerPoint. Um, it actually works in Google um, Slides so that you can use it there if you don't happen to have PowerPoint. So just want to mention that. Okay, thanks, Dana. I see Maria has her hand uh, raised. Go ahead, Maria. Hi, uh, another idea that was a little newer is um, right before school starts and at different points during the year, there are teacher training days. That's also a great opportunity for PTA to be in the room when all your staff is present, share what PTA is, what PTA does, because it may surprise you all, but there are teachers in the building that have no idea what you do. Um, they should know, but they don't. It's a great opportunity to come in, to touch base, say, this is how we help you and give them an opportunity to join. And there's a unit who uh, mentioned they wanted to do pens and they wanted to have the QR code for their member hub on these pens. So as, as the staff come in, they can give them a pen to number one, fill out the membership form if they're gonna do it on the spot. And it also gives them an opportunity to pay via member hub so there's no exchange of money and 
it, it does away with the idea that somebody maybe doesn't have cash on them or doesn't have their checkbook with them, but it gives them access to your member hub. And if they leave with that pen, it also gives them access to your member hub. So anything that you're selling, any fundraisers, anything that you're doing, it's a direct line for them. I thought it was quite ingenious and I wanted to share. Thank you, Maria. Um, something I learned yesterday, um, which I thought was pretty cool. Can everybody see my, my white uh, click here? If you look down a little bit, you, we are now able to create QR codes direct um, on any page that we'd like. And we can create the QR code for the page we're on, which I thought was pretty cool. So if you right click on any page, you can create a QR code for free. Okay, I'm not sure where we left off and I do apologize because we're always trying to be PTA flexible here, even when it has to, yeah. yeah. Finished out your page except for the Boohoo Yahoo breakfast. So you might wanna talk about that. Oh, okay. Um, in the chat, I hope all of you can um, interact here. Have any of you uh, done a Boohoo Yahoo breakfast? And if you have, I'd like to know uh, your best tips for them. I will tell you Boohoo Yahoo is one of my favorite things. In the beginning of the year, the first day, first week, the end of the first week of our school year, we hold a Boohoo Yahoo breakfast. Boohoo for we're sad our kids are going to school. Yahoo for they're going back to school. <laughs> this is an opportunity for you to um, see some of the other parents, commiserate about kids going back to school, talk about the PTA, have all of your items up so that they can see it. We like to, we have a little photo album uh, that was created by our hospitality and we're able to look through all the things that we've done in the past. We have all of our boards up so it's in the background and we're just getting to know everybody. Um, if you've never heard of uh, Boohoo Yahoo Breakfast, I also included a Pinterest link here so you can take a look at what some other PTAs have done, which have been pretty cool. And this is something that you can do the first day of school, the first week of school. Uh, we've tended to do this at our library, but you can do it outside. If you have a tent set up, you can just, the minute they drop off their kids, come on over to the PTA tent and commiserate together. So in addition to the things that we've talked about, we have a numerous amount of resources at your disposal on New York State. We have our toolkit where you can have all of, um, we have all of the uh, information that you need. Um, we have our vert how to virtual PTA, and we also have our PTS success PTA success stories. Um, we have our monthly membership newsletter. Um, our Jennifer Tulo, our marketing specialist, came up with our wonderful new catchy name, which is the Memo. So if you guys see in your email the memo newsletter coming out. That is a newsletter from us. We've also included a link to our past newsletter so you can see all the great tips and tricks that we've uh, made available to you and all of the awards that we have going on for that particular month. Speaking of awards, I'm going to go over briefly with all of you some of the awards that we have available new and old for this year. Again, you will be getting a copy of this, so not to worry, no need to take notes. This will be in your email soon. Um, so we have our first um, award, which is called the Savvy Membership Award. It has a new extended time frame. It's from September to January, and all of the details about this particular um, award is available in your guide and also on the New York State PTA site. Um, 60 units won this award last year. We're hoping to only increase those numbers since it was only one month that they were able to qualify. Our next is our early bird award. This is an award that we've had um, every year to celebrate those of you who are able to reach 60% of your membership goal uh, to earn the Early Bird Digital Award. Um, again, all of this information is gonna be online for you to re read through and make sure you can digest. We're just gonna be um, briefly chatting about it. Last year, uh, we had 120 units win this award. The 
on Target Award. Um, as Patty had mentioned tonight, quite a few of you have already uh, qualified for this particular award. Um, you only need to reach the mim minimum of 25 members to earn this. So that means your principal, the staff, teachers, and your, your, um, your board. If they join, you've got 25 members and you've already started with an on-target award, which we believe that you can definitely achieve. Next up is another new award that we have available. This is our Trailblazer Award. You've done the 25 with no problem. Now we want you to get your next goal, which is 75% of your membership goal. Um, this is also a new award this year. Um, majority of these awards have a, um, uh, a store gift certificate attached to them, not all, but some. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you pay attention to the ones, uh, what the uh, actual uh, winners will receive, because those are important too. And with all of these awards, please, the minute you know that you win it, promote, promote, promote. Every school wants to be a part of a winning PTA. And this is one of those times that you can show our PTA is doing big things, and this is one of the things we were able to win. Our Student Rocks Award. We know some of the students in our units are doing some big things, um, especially at the PTSA level, but did you know that kids that are younger can join as well? There's many opportunities for them to join. Uh, in our unit, we well, our district, we have a saying, if they can sign their name, they can be a member. Um, you know, you, we can create opportunities for them. If they are coming to the meetings, maybe they can talk to um, their student uh, activities. Maybe you can have someone that's in the student body talk about some of the things that they're doing in their school. Um, or they can pick out maybe the movie night, what movie you're going to be doing that, that, um, that evening. So in this particular award, which will be um, done at the end of November, um, four random winners will be selected to achieve $25 uh, from our PTA store as a gift certificate for a Student Rocks Award. Now we have our great PTA sign-up day, and Patty's going to be talking to that. Patty? Thanks, Mary. Um, I'll just be really quick. So we actually have two great PTA sign-up days um, planned for this year. They're bookends. Um, one is going to start in no is going to be in November. That's kind of the start of our 125th year of PTA celebration, and the other one will be in February to match the actual date of 125 years of National PTA. So we have both of those days, and really what we're going to be doing there is just really reaching out to all of our units to kind of um, have a, a particular membership drive that day, um, and then to report your members. We're going to be having some live social media throughout the day. We can track your members as they come in and the um, New York State President Dana Platon, also from Suffolk, um, is going to be doing um, some online um, presentations and we'll have our thermometer all set up. So um, we encourage everyone to be a part of that day. We're looking to have 5,125 members registered that day. So it'll be exciting. And then there'll be uh, hopefully some of our uh, regions also will be participating with their own promotion that day as well. Thank you so much, Patty. Next up, we have our super teacher and staff awards. We wanna recognize all of the teachers and the staff in the building that have joined to support their school, you know, um, that they work at. And it's very important that we have a good um, partnership with them. And for this particular award, you have to achieve uh, more than 75% of your school employees as teachers or staff to earn this particular digital award badge. Again, all of the, de all of the definitions of what need to happen in order to receive this award will be available online and in this uh, booklet that we're gonna make available to you. Next up, we have our Founders Day Award. Um, if you enter at least 10 new members this month, which is the month of February, uh, you will earn a Founders Day Digital Award Badge. Um, last year, we had over 100 units win this. This is the second PTA sign-up day, the bookend that, PTA, that uh, Patty was talking about. It's going to be happening on February 17th. So please look out for all of the promotions that we'll have surrounding this. And, um, and please share them on your social uh, media handles. 
So we have our male engagement award. And what's a little different about this, which we've changed last year, is that this is an online award application, which means it's self-nominating. So in March, if you believe that your school has at least 20% male membership, you can qualify to earn this particular award. All you have to do is click on that link. There are some brief questions. I believe there are five at the most. And you can qual you might qualify to win um, a $25 uh, store gift certificate and a badge as well for competing. Last year, uh, about 44 units won this particular award. Good Apple Growth Awards. Um, I don't know about you, but when I first started, I didn't really understand what this meant. This is the culmination of all of your efforts towards membership for the year in May. So we have our gold level, which is those of you who have achieved more than 100%. We have our silver level, which is 50% growth. And we have our bronze level, which is 25% growth. Um, and again, this is calculated for you. You will know uh, from us who've, who has won this. And um, the highest growth statewide will receive $300 in cash prizes. Mary, um, this is Dana. I just want to interrupt for just one second. On any of the awards, just make sure one of the criteria in order to earn the awards is actually that your unit is in good standing. So look at all of the um, good standing requirements. Uh, your bylaws need to not be expired. You need to make sure your IRS is not revoked. You must have your updated officers in member hub. Uh, the 21, 22 officers need to be added, even if they're the same as last year, you need to add them to member hub. And then you must have at least 25 members. So just keep that in mind. We want to make sure everybody earns everything that they're entitled to. Thank you for that reminder, Dana. It is very important for us uh, to know all the things that we need in order to, to be compliant and to win these particular awards. All right, our favorite part of the night, success stories. Um, I don't know about you, but there were a lot of things that our unit had accomplished that um, I wish I could tell someone about. So last year we had developed a page uh, that would enable us to get some success stories from all over New York State and place them in places for everybody to be able to access and read so that they can see the things that they might be able to take from it, um, things that they might be able to learn. Um, let's face it, last year was a difficult year, but a lot of schools were able to do some amazing things. Speaking of amazing things, if your school or unit is one of those units that have done some amazing things and you have not seen your success stories on our sites, please click on this link. The first link you will see on that page is where you can um, submit your story so that we can either um, shout you from the rooftops on our Facebook page, on our website, or in our newsletter. And with that, we are bumping up against day 30. So we wanted to say thank you for joining us on this particular call. We hope you learned something today. And if you had any questions, please make sure to feel free to reach out to any of us, especially your RMC. And if you had any questions, um, now we will be opening it up for a little Q&A before we get off. Okay, we have a question from Jen. We want to do a prize for the class that has the most membership sign up in September. My daughter just won a free lunch with from Moe's coupon for completing the summer reading program through the library. Any idea if New York State PTA has any deals like that worked out with any larger chains? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Um, we do have partnerships with, with certain genes and, you know, you, you have perks for being a PTA member. Um, I will, I, in my opinion, I believe um, it would make, it would be a bigger impact if you got a local business to give you um, some of these free lunches. You can get it from Applebee's, Moe's. Um, you know, some of your local pizza shops will do, will donate a, a pie. Um, Patty, what did you think? Did you? 
Well, actually, that is uh, if, if I can say I have this to do list. <laughs> um, I love this idea, actually. And um, we had started down that path a couple of years ago with a, another um, major chain. Um, we didn't really get as far with it, but I do think it's definitely something that um, when we hear about a thing like Moe's, and I think we pretty much have those across the state, that we might we can put that on our list of things to um, work with the New York state and see if we can do something statewide, because I do think this is a great way to um, incentivize membership and to have a good partnership. So we don't have anything yet, but thank you for the update on Mo's because that was not one of the places on my list. That's awesome. And you're talking to the right person. So this is, this is great. This is great. Yeah. Uh, Maria, I see your hand up. Go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say at the local level, we do that frequently with local pizzerias. We've done it with Applebee's and TGI Fridays, and they'll generally give you a, a gift card um, that you can then share as a bonus. We used to actually do at the elementary level, we used to do pizza parties. Um, the only thing I'm going to say is when you're doing an award, a reward like that, be mindful there are different size classes. So we always did the highest percentage as opposed to the highest members. So it enabled, especially some of our self-contained special education classes to still participate because a special, a self-contained class may have 10 or 12 students as opposed to a typical class with 22. So that was a complaint I had gotten. Um, they felt like they could never win a PTA prize. So we started doing, and I did the same thing for things like PARP. Um, we did a percentage. So it enabled everybody to be part of the fun and the pizza parties were fabulous. We had local pizzerias donate like two pies and a soda. And whichever class, you know, got that highest percentage in the month, got that free pizza party. And it, again, it built a partnership with your, between the PTA and that local business. It was a freebie. And, Every child wants a pizza party. We did pizza parties and bagel parties, and we came to learn that pizza parties were easier and cheaper. Um. I think I, that's a great idea, but I also like from Jen's perspective where we're sending something home to the family. I think, you know, going back to the days when my children were in school, it was certainly was fun when my daughter came home with a certificate for then as a family. I mean, Mo's probably made out pretty well with that. So she got the free little and back in our day, it was um, it was the old country buffet. I don't know if you have those on Long Island, but it was like, you know, a massive buffet restaurant. And she won that. But then as a family, we went and celebrated. And so we all were eating at old country buffet. <laughs> um, but it's a, a very happy family memory. So I think I love the idea of this partnership to create another sense of family engagement um, by being able to give that out. So families can get together and go or just go on their own. I think it's great. Yes, and pizza is what we had also. That was really like reading. <laughs> if you needed a list, you could also contact the library. They have a lot of partnerships that are already established that they might be able or willing to help you with. Yes, and the business does win as well. Um, does anybody else have any other questions or comments or anything they'd like to add or ask at this time? You have us at your disposal. <laughs> and Mary, just to let everybody know, um, you're going to be providing this guide to them digitally, right? Um, is there an expectation of when we're going to be getting that out to everyone? Because you, you should be receiving this particular link no later than the end of this week. Good to know, because I think I'll probably be the one sending it. <laughs> <laughs> right, Dana? <laughs> right. <laughs> so I would definitely send that out to all of the officers in uh, Suffolk. And this is a living document. So um, as you know, we're doing six weeks of training uh, uh, per, per region. So if there are some good tidbits, some things that we need to include in there for you guys, we'll let you know about it. We'll update it and we'll send it, you know, sharing is caring. Um, you know, you're, we can only all shine brighter. You know, we, we're not taking away from anybody by sharing all these tips and tricks. And then of course we want to give out a shout out to national PTA. As you can see Mary's backdrop, um, 
that she's using is part of the national PTA campaign. They have some excellent resources. They have really stepped up this year. I don't know if anybody here is doing the 125 days of membership. Um, it's worth it for just the resources alone, but a lot of them are posted on the national site. Um, and again, you have seen me in action with technology, right? Not so good, but I have to say they, their resources, very easy. I was able to get on and customize my little Facebook thing um, using one of their, um, uh, low, their, you know, their slogans, um, like with Mary, what Mary has behind her. So they make it very easy for all of us that aren't technology um, oriented and those that are, it's great. So a lot of tools there that we recommend um, that you check out. And also we will be sending around a folder um, that's just about done of graphics that you can use. We talked about social media earlier that we're going to share with you. So you don't have to create your own social media graphics. We will send them to you um, and you can use them um, however you want as a region or as a unit, you know, to post, or you can embed them into newsletters and other things. So we want to just be able to be that help to you. I mean, we know that the membership campaign is something that's really personal to your unit. You know, and it's your goal of, of how you want to handle membership. We know that there's only um, one tried and true way to get members, and that is to ask. All of this, you know, I don't want to say bells and whistles, but I'm saying it. All of these things that we're doing to surround membership, we know it all boils down to how you make the ask. And these tools that we're giving you, we hope will help you make that ask. Um, so we're, but we're here to help your region, state, and national. Um, we, we are all in this together as far as membership, because we know that we take the big giant number of membership with us when we do our advocacy, both in Albany and in Washington. So um, we thank you in advance for your efforts on behalf of membership. And I'm gonna give it back to Mary to close out if there's no further questions, but please just jump in, we're pretty casual. We are greater in greater numbers. And uh, because of you guys and everything that you've done uh, and are getting ready to do, our kids are can only benefit. So we wanted to thank you on behalf of New York State. Again, if you had any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. We are PTA flexible, as we've said quite a number of times. Any questions you have, maybe you didn't want to say it on the chat, we'd be happy to answer it later on tonight or anytime you, you had a question that you wanted to ask. Uh, thank you all for joining us. And um, we hope you have an awesome week. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Night, thank you. Good night. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording.